Hi, my name is Katherine Goh, and I'm a software mechanical engineering student. My project for Professor Wolf's scientific photography class involved the construction of an X-ray machine and the production of X-ray images on conventional photographic film of non-living objects and organisms. Here are some X-ray images produced by others. These are the sort of images that I was trying to produce. Some of these images come from the book Ichthyo, The Architecture of Fish, and from other sources. The source of x-rays is an x-ray tube powered by a 25,000 volt power supply. Off to the side, you see a Geiger counter, which is used to measure radiation levels. During the construction process, Professor Wolf and I had to take several safety measures relating to both the high voltage and the x-rays, which are ionizing radiation. OSHA dictates very specific standards of radiation safety, and at all times, we had exposure levels far below OSHA standards, so far below that our exposure was not measurably higher than the background radiation we all encounter daily. Under OSHA standards, allowable whole body exposure is 5.7 microsieverts per hour, which is roughly equivalent to 700 counts per minute. Background radiation in the physics lab, which has no radioactive materials, is about 17 counts per minute. Reducing intensity involved two factors, distance and shielding. We were always about 50 feet away from the machine while it was operating, and in addition, we used thin sheets of lead to reduce x-ray intensity substantially in all but the direction of the subject to be photographed and the photographic film. Lead is very pliable, so wearing gloves to avoid lead absorption, we molded the sheets into different geometries to ensure adequate shielding in all desired directions. Our backdrop behind the photographic film was a thick concrete column, which is also effective at stopping x-rays. Other points of concern included the high voltage power supply. Since we were dealing with 25,000 volts, we needed to ensure that high voltage wires were kept a safe distance away from any metal objects they might try to arc to. Once these safety factors were addressed, it was just a matter of turning on the x-ray tube capturing the image of each object on x-ray film, and then developing the film conventionally with developer, stop bath, and fixative. Here are some images we produced. I want to give a big thank you to Professor Wolf for all his guidance and assistance. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of end of the year show.